winning the second half against the Sanford Bulldogs, but falls short by 17, 59, 42. Coach, it seemed like in the half, your offense really found rhythm getting into the second half. What was the difference between half number one and half number two offensively? We, um, we were actually able to attack a little bit more with a little bit more confidence. Um, we moved the ball a lot better. I think we stalled out a lot, and the ball died out in our hands a lot in the first half. And we just weren't getting shots. I mean, we weren't getting quality shots out of it. You know, they were helping in and sagging a little bit on us, and I think that kind of jammed us up as far as moving the ball and actually getting movement on offense and, and working through and making passes. It was just, it was a stalled out offense. It was one or two passes, and we couldn't get in, in, into any kind of rhythm. You talked about at the end of Monday night's game how you felt like Lindsey Simpson was starting to get in a rhythm, and she became a go-to player for your offense. What was working for her so well early on in this basketball game? Well, her teammates do a good job of, of trying to get her open. I mean, we, we really, when we have to get Ace, uh, when we have to get AY some shots, Lindsey Simpson, then we feel like we got to set good screens for her. I think that that was a key thing and just getting her ball in timing. Um, and I think our point guards did a nice job of that in the second half and just trying to get her going again. Sanford's offense got off to a hot start offensively in the first couple periods, but settled down late in the ballgame, only had 10 points in the fourth quarter. What started to work defensively for your team as the game went on against the Princeton offense? Well, I think we settled in defensively. I think we started going back to the things that we had worked on. You know, we were it, – it's – it's not something you can step on the floor and defend. Right. You know, you have to be prepared to defend it. So their natural instincts at the beginning of the game, you know, jump into the ball and things that you just do defensively that we knew we couldn't do against them was a little hard of, harder of an adjustment for us to make. And then once we settled in against our man and sticking with your man, we got, we got stops. We were able to get stops. They weren't able to backdoor us and get open layups and back screen us and all the other stuff they do in their offense. You know, we just weren't communicating on, on defense when they were doing all that stuff. So we weren't being really good teammates, to be completely honest with you, as far as trying to help. And, you know, we'd have two people flying to one, and, you know, we just weren't in any kind of rhythm there defensively either. Coming out in the second half, I think we were a little bit more locked in on playing five-on-five -five defense. You know, we had mm -hmm. to have five people defending. That type of offense, you can't have one or two people defending. You can't have one lost, and that's kind of what we were doing in the first half. In the second half, we were a little better. And we started pressing some, and they, they had a little bit of trouble with our press and trying to get things going on their side. Well, we talk about not only what the second half does for you confidence-wise and getting in a flow of that offense when you host Mercer here on Saturday, but keeping in mind you play Sanford again down the road, what does that do confidence-wise for your team? Well, I mean, you know, we were one possession and one game at a time. Right. Um, this is disappointing to them, and we'll find some bright spots in it. We'll find some positives with it when we watch film on it tomorrow. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, as far as what kind of confidence we have coming out of it. Right now, I can almost guarantee you there's not a whole lot of confidence in that locker room as far as the way we defended right. Sanford tonight. Um, and even our offensive, and hard, as hard as we had to fight to get buckets offensively, was a struggle for us. So we're going to have to regroup, come tomorrow, and come back at it with a new game plan for Mercer. Well, Coach, we thank you for your time here on the Carolina Ford Dealers Post Game Show. We'll see you on Saturday for Mercer. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Go Cats. That was head coach Stephanie McCormick following what was a tough game against the Sanford Bulldogs. 59-42, the final score in this one.